Over the course of the last year or so, we've taken a look at a lot of these powerful handheld PC consoles, like the a Neo and the a Neo Geek, which they literally just sent me their new one. Yes, there's already another one. This is us taking a look at what might be possible in the future of gaming. But this video isn't about what's playing the games. It's about how you are experiencing the games. The future of how we all play video games. Sorry, I was just, uh, well, if Kim asks, I was, I was playing Mario Kart. You might be able to tell by now, but I just love fun gadgets. Whether it's a pair of glasses that can play my Switch or a pair of high quality earbuds that cost half the price of other premium wireless audio brands on the market. Yeah. This video is sponsored by Raycon. Whether you're looking to pick up a pair of everyday earbuds or low latency gaming earphones, or even a speaker with a battery that'll last you all night long, Raycon has got you covered. There's a lot of reasons why I love these little bad boys. To start with, you get eight hours of playtime from them. And then when you're done, you put them back into this little case and it acts as a charge bank, charging them back up for the next time you wanna use them. Also, I usually use them when I go for walks or when I'm working out. They're great because they don't fall out of your ears no matter how much you shake your head and they're sweat and water resistant. Oh, and on top of that, they're noise isolating. Look, I've been working with Raycon now for quite a few years and I keep coming back and they keep coming back because we love each other. And even if you know you'll love your Raycons as much as I love mine, Raycon wants to make sure you feel great about your purchase. They offer buy now and pay later options. Every purchase has an easy and free return guarantee. So if you're ready to buy something small that has a big impact, click the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com forward slash beat-em-ups to get 15% off your order. Order. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe we were all in the middle of watching this? something. Oh, this is the only fence. Sit down. I don't know how he does it. The glasses are here. You know, I kind of thought the box for a pair of glasses would be pretty small, but I have these two gigantic boxes that were sent to me. I also have my Switch with me because I'm hoping they at least have a little bit of charge in them. I want to capture me playing it for the first time. I want that experience to be recorded. There's another three boxes in here. I gotta be honest, I don't know how these things work, how any of this works. There's a mobile dock. I gotta bring the glasses around with me and a dock around with me. Oh. Okay, so we have two ports for two individual pairs of glasses. So it would have to be a two player game where you're both on the same screen, but that's still cool. Okay, so the switch goes in here. Okay. All right. I want the glasses. Where are the glasses? Give me the glasses. These have to be the cool guys. The guys are gonna make me look so stylish. They sent two pairs. That's so nice of them. Oh, that's so neat. Oh, I'm so impressed by the box. It's only uphill from here, surely. I don't know why my little goblin brain is loving this so much, but this is such a satisfying box to open. Oh, they are some chunky frames. How do I look? I feel like I look one of two ways. I either look like a really cool guy or somebody who bought gaming glasses off the internet and is just looking to kill some Coopers on the go. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I want to turn them on. I want to, I want to play. I go like such an idiot right now. Oh, I couldn't find the freaking cord for these anywhere. I forgot about the case they came in. The cord is stashed in the top of the case. But I checked the other pair of glasses they sent me to see if it was in there. And these ones are blue. So I don't know if that's making me look any cooler than these guys, but nice to have options, I guess. Ooh, magnetic. It snapped on really nice. So I'm all plugged in. Oh. Well, it just came on. <laughs> I can't see half of it. So there must be a way to adjust uh, my eyesight somehow. And I finally have it not being blurry. I mean, it's honestly 
pretty wild. I had Persona playing because I was playing it earlier today. I know you guys can't see. I can put something on the screen so you can feel like you can. It sounds great. There's little speakers above my ears here. It's playing Persona music directly into my uh, my earlobes. You can barely hear it when you take off the glasses. So people around you aren't going to be able to hear, especially if you're on like a busy train or bus. The image is really clear. It honestly looks like I'm just looking at my Switch in handheld mode. If you've ever seen uh, uh, heavy Rain, where the inspector guy is like playing a game with his glasses and it kind of projects the game out in the world. I kind of thought maybe it would look like that, but it actually, it just looks like someone's holding my Switch. They're just holding it up for me for me to see. And it's literally just blocking my vision of everything else. But it's really clear. Like I can't stress that enough. It's bright, vibrant. Looks like I'm looking at my OLED Switch. The only thing that I'm really struggling with is it's too low. And I gotta figure out why, but when I'm wearing it, I'm not looking directly at it, I gotta angle my eyes down to look at it. And I can't look down because it moves. Surely that's something I'm doing wrong. So it comes with all these different nose pieces to make it sit differently on your face. I've fiddled with all four nose pieces, even tried to move it around my face to weird positions to see if I can get it to line up just so I'm looking straight at it and not having to look down even a little bit. Right here is about the best spot and I still have to look down just a little bit. I want to be looking here and I have to look here. Not a big deal. It just feels weird. It almost feels like I can't relax my eyes and game. Plugged in the other pair. Oh. No way. These ones are way better. Yeah, this is really cool. <laughs> this is really sick. I am probably going to be playing more Persona because it's an excuse to play more. I've been absolutely slamming this game lately. I'm almost 40 hours in, so I think I'm about done with the game because that's how long Persona is, right, chat? Chat? I haven't been live in a month. <laughs> I'm still doing that. I gotta go and play these and find a way to record the footage for you guys. I'll come back with my thoughts on if they're worth whatever they cost, because at this point, I have no idea. But they are working, and they are cool. Is it the future? I'll let you know. All right, by now, you already understand what's happening here. These are what they're calling XR glasses that can stream movies and play your video games on the go right here in front of your eyeballs. Really? freaking cool. <laughs> I mean, I don't look cool. I think we've established that. They do look kind of dorky. I'm not gonna lie. They're so thick because they have to be because there's so much tech crammed in here. However, they are incredibly freaking cool. I am so blown away by these. First up, I need to do a disclaimer here. There's almost no feasible way of me recording what I'm seeing. I have tried. I mean, the meat in what you are here to try and witness today is hidden behind these two lens. And unless you come over my house, and if you do, please bring cookies and milk. Why am I Santa Claus? <laughs> unless you come to my house and you put these on your face yourself, there is no way you are going to get the experience. You need your human eyes up close to crisscross them. And on top of that, my camera lenses don't get that close. They're blurry that close. Most camera lenses are, unless you have one that's specifically for that. And the only way way I could get any footage of this is to record on my phone. It's not a good representation. It looks like I am filming a picture that's this big because I am. It's going to be really hard to actually show anything in this video. You're just going to have to use a little bit of imagination and wherever possible, I'll show you what I've got on my phone, but it's not a good representation because I can't stress enough how good it looks when you're wearing it. You just kind of got to imagine a giant 120 inch screen right in front of your face. Here's what I can tell you though. It looks good. It is so clear, clean, and crisp. It's not like putting on a Quest 2 and really having to find the sweet spot so that you see it not blurry. It just looks great. There's little knobs on top because these things can go all the way from my 2020 vision to your prescription lenses. Obviously, you got to do a little bit of tweaking maybe to find your correct eyesight. But for me, out of the box, it works because I think out of the box, it's set to normal eyes, I was about to say. <laughs> your eyes are normal. Normal and pretty and beautiful. 
beautiful and great. My God, you're gorgeous. I missed you. <laughs> I am being serious when I say that I like the look of the screen in here more than my OLED screen. Maybe I'm an idiot, but there's something really cool about it. In fact, I thought maybe I was a dumb idiot moron poopy head and I was just blown away by the tech and I wasn't giving it a fair shake. That's why I made sure to try these on my friend Bob. He's more into this kind of stuff than I am as far as screens and fidelity and frame rates and blah. And I knew if it passed the Bob test, then I wasn't insane. So while recording our podcast this week, I stuck him on his face. You ready to jack in? <laughs> Whoa! Yo, I feel like I'm burning my retinas out already. <laughs> Don't overthink it too much. I'm going to. That's my job. I am Sora. All right, he's beating my ass uh, right he now. He is Captain like, I can Falcon. can barely see anything. How do you feel about the screen quality? I'm feeling I'm using split Joy-Con right now. I'm not happy about that. It's shockingly nice. It is very nice. I thought I was going to be able to see pixels. They have really good sound. They kept boasting about the sound. The Oculus Quest has a similar thing where like... It's like above your ears, but it sounds but if, like you're listening to stereo sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, now it's getting intense. Bob and I are playing Smash. Matt, you charged that up for a whole year for what? I was waiting for you to was do that something. worth it? I feel like you've finally adjusted to the glasses and you're just playing now. I would never want to do this. Oh, I just shook my head and it got it shook all screen. So last night after Kim and I tried him out in bed, kept, Whoa, I, kept, hey now. I kept playing Persona and I don't know, it was kind of sick. I could very easily sit here and do this. Whatever happens, I will blame it on the tech that I'm using. I need a button! Zero death. Joy Con! I need a button! Can you make the screen go uppies? <laughs> I, <laughs> I was trying last like, night. Like, I can see. Black I know. on top. I know it's really weird. It's like it's it's too low. That's kind of a huge problem for spending so much on a screen. I like the idea that it has a little dock situation. Do they look cool? No. Cool though. Yeah, anyway, I wanted to try them. <laughs> I hope you like them. Obviously, it's not perfect, but the actual screen looks the sick. The screen is very clear. From what you can see. Yeah. He loved them. He was surprised as well by how good it looked and also how great it sounds. If you ever used a Quest 2, you've had that experience of you haven't got earbuds in, but the way it's shooting sound down and around your ears, it sounds like stereo sound. When I boot up Persona 5 Royal, the intro scene at the start has surrounded sound kind of with the sirens of the police. It sounds like they're leaving and coming and like going and bleh. I don't want to keep the fluffing about stuff that I can't even show you. So let me show you how it works. They don't require charge. You don't need to battery these things at all. They're good to go right out the box. They never need to be charged. How does that work? I don't know. I assume it just draws power from whatever you plug it into. So each one comes with this cord. It has a magnetic clip. That's awesome. All you need is the glasses and this cord to play your Steam Deck on the go. I'm not kidding. Plug it in. That screen's gonna throw straight to these. There, it's already in the glasses. Now that's just a little image that you'll see if you're looking from this side. Obviously, if I put them on, I have a 120 foot screen floating in the sky right above my face. One of the first things that Bob asked was, how do you know it's 120 inch? Like, are they just making that number up? Because you're just seeing a projection in your face. I don't know how to really explain the perspective side to you, but if I put these on and loaded up a game and then I went right up to a wall, like a wall, like a like a flat wall and just looked at it. It's gonna look like an image about this big because all I have to reference is the wall I'm staring right at. But if I went to like an open area or a football field and I sat in one of the seats and looked out onto the field, now suddenly I'm seeing an image this big and I have this whole field behind me and the image is going to look massive. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but I'm trying to make it make sense. Either way, it's big, I promise. I can kind of see through it. They do send these little covers here if you want to completely black everything out. It honestly gives the screen even more pop and it is really nice. So I guess it depends if you're like on a bus and you kind of want to be able to see everything but also play your games. But if you're sat at home, you might just want to throw these on so that you get the full experience. So that's how you use it on the Steam Deck. Super easy. If you want to use it on the Switch, you need to have this charge dock. It's about 90 bucks. So you do have to get an extra thing if you want to play 
on Switch. You can also get this mounting case that clips onto the back of your Switch, and then you can also clip the power bank in like this. All you gotta do is plug it in with this cord that comes with the power bank. You just plug your headset into the power bank as well, and now it'll throw straight to the headset. So now I've got my Switch in there just like that. The reason why it has this power bank, I think just because the Switch doesn't have the technology to throw to anything other than a dock. At least it doesn't recognize the glasses the way the Steam Deck does. Literally everything else recognizes the glasses. I mean, I can even plug it into my Android phone. But yeah, the Switch won't let me do that, so you need this thing. But the added advantage of having this thing, it has two ports for glasses, so you can play two player games from the one Switch, or you can just have someone plug in and watch whatever you're doing. Another one is it will charge your Switch. It does act like a charge bank. And on top of that, this bank also comes with HDMI. Yeah, I plugged my PlayStation 5 straight into this bad boy and it works the same way as the Switch. I was playing God of War Ragnarok in the glasses. It really is that simple. And it's playing the games at 1080p. It's just playing them. One big complaint that's been happening throughout this video. It happened when I tried them on. It happened when I gave them to Bob and my friends. The screen getting cut off by the bottom of the glasses. I messaged them about this too and asked if there was any solution and it was something that they're aware of. Apparently, there is a neck brace you can get. The neck piece connects to the glasses and you can wirelessly cloud game and you can stream TV, movies and stuff. And that's the best way of doing that. I mean, that's pretty sick. But with that neck brace thing, apparently you can adjust the size of the screen too. You can even lower it in a corner if you want to quickly see what's going on around you. Without that neck brace, you can't adjust the size of the screen at all. It is just the big 120 inch screen and you really have to get the glasses in the sweet spot to not have any part of that screen cut off from the edge of the frames. I went through all the different nose pieces. I went through shuffling this thing around my face. The way I found that it looks best is the first nose piece, keeping it just a little above my face and then, and then just scooting them down a little bit and then I can see everything. I'm really okay with it. If you get in that sweet spot, you'll see everything and it works really, really well. Something I didn't mention is that they can do 3D. I was actually downloading Sonic Generations earlier because I, I heard that has native 3D. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Oh God, it's made it 3D, but it's made it 3D in a tiny little box. I don't know what aspect ratio that is because I'm an idiot, but it is a square of Sonic. I would not want to play the game like this. <laughs> So this company, they're not the only company to make these smart glasses. And I would love to get my hands on more and see what else is out there because I feel really confident in this product and this idea being something that is future bound. We are headed there. It might take a little bit for the tech to get to the point where people might want to wear them, but sitting in public with glasses on and watching a movie or scrolling through Twitter, that is absolutely something that is coming. It's here. It's just how long is it going to take for it to become affordable and to catch on, but this is going to be a thing. Is it the future of gaming? Yeah, I think it's going to be a big part of future of gaming. Now, again, this isn't like the replacement of TVs, monitors, VR, or anything like that. It's an addition to. You're already taking your Switch or your Steam Deck on a train. You're already taking sunglasses with you in summer when you go somewhere. You even take headphones or headsets a lot of the time to listen to your games that you're playing. Chances are you're already wearing or, or having something on your head while you're already taking a console out with you. What's the difference in putting the headset set into the pair of glasses, putting on the glasses you probably would have been wearing anyway. And I know right now we're having to use a cord and I'm honestly fine with it. A lot of headsets use a cord anyway. Eventually we're going to end up figuring out Bluetooth for these suckers too. I've been on a plane before and I've turned on my switch and the OLED screen has lit up like the entire section I'm sat in and I feel like I'm bothering people. Also like when you're lying in bed next to someone, you don't want the same thing, the lights, the sounds, all of that. There are so many practical uses 
closest to it just being a thing only you can see for you. Heck, you could sit in class and watch a movie with your parents. <laughs> nah, don't do that. And I want to give a huge thank you to Vitru, Vit, Vit, Vitru, Vit, Vit, for sending these over because, I mean, they're not cheap. I probably should quickly talk about the price. Each pair of these glasses are going to set you back about $500. The power bank, if you want to use it for Switch, is another $100. That thing that wraps around your neck, if you want to get that accessibility, is like another $100. It's not cheap. And I'm not sitting here trying to recommend any of you rush out and buy this. I'm not sponsored by them, so I don't have to, but I wouldn't want to anyway because it's so hecking expensive. I'm just letting you know that these are sick. And when they become affordable, this is going to be insane. Are these right now worth it? Yeah, because there's nothing else I can do this right now. So if you want these, this is how much they cost. The tech is new. The tech is expensive. Would I buy it out of my money? No, I probably would wouldn't otherwise because it's insane. All right, that's it. I had a lot of fun working with these things for this video. Let me know what you think of them down below. If it's something that you think is the future of how people are going to play games, or if you think it's just silly, like, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching and sticking around after my long break. This is my actual first video I'm making back. So I hope you guys liked it. Bye.